Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Seventy-one percent of the Earth's surface is covered by water. But despite centuries of mapping and charting, navigating the oceans can still be incredibly difficult. This is where buoys come in. Buoys have been used as navigational aids for centuries. Though typically associated with lakes and rivers, buoys are also utilized across the open ocean. Modern ocean buoys first came into use after the Industrial Revolution and included lighted buoys for nighttime visibility. Sound buoys with bells, gongs, and horns for navigating in foggy conditions and special color-coded models for communicating conditions and direction. More recently, technological advancements have allowed ocean experts to equip these valuable markers with lights, electronic sound signals, and high-end sensors and transmitters. Though they can last decades in the ocean, Boys still need regular maintenance. At any given time, approximately 90,000 commercial ships are operating on the world's oceans, and buoys are critical to their ability to navigate safely and effectively. Typically, Buoy maintenance is managed by national coast guards or maritime authorities. In fact, the U.S. Coast Guard alone maintains more than 50,000 lighthouses, buoys, and other markers. To ensure their full operation, they will clean, paint, change light bulbs, and perform a wide range of other maintenance. The crew of this cutter is working to maintain a large buoy off the coast of Newport, Rhode Island. Because the buoy is red, its job is to mark the starboard side of the channel for boats returning from sea. One of the biggest threats to buoys like this is the growth of mussels and other residue on the bottom. This can build up over time and weigh down the buoy, potentially capsizing it or even sinking it. This residue can also lead to corrosion that eats away at the metal of both the buoy and the chain that holds it in place. This growth needs to be removed by hand while the boat is at sea before the buoy can be replaced. The Canadian Coast Guard is one of the best equipped in the world and often uses a combination of high-speed cutters and state-of-the-art hovercrafts to perform maintenance on buoys along the St. Lawrence River. The St. Lawrence River is a critical waterway for shipping in North America, serving as a natural extension of the Great Lakes and providing access to the Atlantic Ocean. During the spring and fall, the ships work together to replace four large buoys, each of which is held in place by a three-ton anchor. This allows for close visual inspection and, if necessary, repair. Depending on the type of maintenance required, it may be done on the water instead of on shore. For instance, 
faulty lights or other problems can generally be addressed in just a few minutes. More serious repairs will involve temporarily replacing the buoy and bringing the defective navigation aid back to the Coast Guard workshop. Like the U.S. Coast Guard, the Canadian Coast Guard is also responsible for maintaining fixed navigational aids like lighthouses, leading lights, and radio beacons. In certain situations, buoy maintenance will require the intervention of other military branches. In this case, Marines from Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 464 are conducting a heavy lift of a 12,000 pound buoy. In most instances, there is nothing wrong with these buoys. However, they do make perfect training devices for heavy lifting scenarios. Plus, in the event there ever was a need to retrieve a buoy of this size, the Marines could be called in to do the job quickly and efficiently. There are thousands of buoys spread out across the ocean and near various shorelines. Not all of them are the massive six-ton variety. Smaller buoys will generally feature lights or shortwave signals to help ships navigate during the dark. These can be maintained by hand from ships. In some cases, they won't even need to be taken out of the water. Still, because they are essential to the national and international shipping industry, keeping buoys in peak working order is one of the most important jobs a mariner can have. Over the years, sea buoys have been made from a variety of materials. One of the more popular materials is polyethylene. Polyethylene buoys offer a range of benefits, including durability, low maintenance, cost effectiveness, and environmental resistance. They are also suitable for various environments and are less susceptible to weather changes and corrosion than metal buoys. Some companies specialize in larger scale buoys. In this case, they are made of polymer powder, which is carefully poured into a molding machine. After heating and cooling, the technicians have two ready-to-assemble pieces. These are then filled with marine-grade foam, resulting in a self-contained, high-visibility navigation device. For lighted buoys, the manufacturer can add solar panels and other self-powering features, reducing the need for regular maintenance. As important as buoys are, no single maritime navigation tool has saved more ships and lives than the lighthouse. Lighthouses have actually existed in some form or another since the days of ancient Egypt. However, like buoys, they became even more common after the Industrial Revolution, drastically improving sea travel. Historically, lighthouses have been essential for guiding ships safely into harbors, around dangerous coastlines, and away from hazards such as rocks and reefs. Though they were often manned, many lighthouses became automated and electrified by the 20th century, 
reducing the need for human lighthouse keepers. Beyond that, using electric lights and developing automated systems such as timers and sensors made lighthouses more reliable and efficient. To this day, they still provide a crucial visual reference point for sailors, especially at night or during poor weather conditions. In the 20th century, the role of lighthouses began to change with the advent of electronic navigation systems, such as GPS. Despite this, lighthouses remained important as backups to electronic systems and as symbols of maritime heritage. And like buoys, they also need regular maintenance to ensure they can perform these crucial functions. Many older lighthouses across the United States have recently undergone major restorations. The Point Bonita Lighthouse in Sausalito, California is one such example. Starting in 2018, the United States Coast Guard began working on restoring the century-old building and its main light. Many people are surprised to find out just how small the lights are. Indeed, it's through the use of special lenses and mirrors that these lighthouses turn such a small light source into a powerful and far-reaching beam. Exposure to harsh maritime environments means that lighthouses and their components are constantly in need of repair. Yet, it's not just the lighthouses themselves that need attention. Most lighthouse islands or piers will include breakwaters. These are structures constructed along coastlines, harbors and offshore areas to protect against the force of waves. Yet it's not just the lighthouses themselves that need attention. Most lighthouse islands or piers will include breakwaters. These are structures constructed along coastlines, harbors and offshore areas to protect against the force of waves. Essentially, they break the water up to create calmer areas, thus reducing the damage rate. Most breakwaters are made of stone or concrete, which can also break down over time. Repairing them generally consists of replacing the existing breakwater with new stones. This can be a time-consuming process, as the stones need to be placed strategically to ensure they properly affect the waves and won't be washed away. Beyond their ability to keep boats from running aground, lighthouses provide valuable positioning landmarks for rescuers. Standing tall along the coastline, they provide lost swimmers, hikers, and other people in danger with a place to go and seek help. In many cases, Rescuers will attempt to locate lost individuals based on their proximity to lighthouses or tell them to head there in order to call for help. For this reason, lighthouses have come to symbolize protection, guidance and hope even beyond their practical use. Though technology may someday render much of their function irrelevant, these literal beacons of safety will probably be standing along the world's coastlines for many years to come. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it.
Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.